So the currency needed to empty the event shop is 4280 and assuming if you pity both banners, in short you will get 4640 event currency in total by not missing anything and by properly doing the event which will leave you with an excess of 360 event currency after emptying the shop. Assuming if you are lucky, like my guildmate getting both of the red ups within 60 pulls, you can technically empty the event shop with only 100 summons and by getting both banners to 50 pulls to get their first accumulative rewards. That is assuming if you don't miss a single event's daily missions. But you can also chip it further by not maxing their S1. This is the calculation if you only max the UE, S2, and S3. In short, you only need 3840 currency to get the important stuff for both of the red ups. By the way, Navgear upgrade materials are from the Lotto and Day6 login rewards, so this is completely free. But here comes the important question are they worth summoning? If you like their designs, sure, but if you are a meta person, it is kinda hard to answer. If your main concern is Avrela with Meredith Orb, I just want you to know that Meredith Orb effect is undispellable, so Purple Heart S2 cannot dispel it. Purple Heart can deal with her, but the easiest way to deal with Avrela is still by using Lalit, Una, Pavonis, or any other similar units. And there is also Jesse to tank both Purple and Black Heart. And many other things to consider like how Blackheart needs debuffs so her S3 can get the pen scaling. But if you want to summon for them regardless, so far Purple Heart is the only promising one. Blackheart is too specific and has too many catches that deserve her own entire video. In RTA however, you can just use them freely since you can ban their counters. For now just wait until more of their reviews are out and decide whether to summon for them or not before their banners end. By the way, did you know that before the collab started, the dev said to which I quote, The event not require that much pulls, but logging in every day and farm the event is the most important part to get the UE mats. What we expect for this collab is that everyone can enjoy the story, get free character, and being active at the same time. And guess what? They kept their words. In a lucky scenario, to mix both of the collab charas within 100 summons is crazy. All you need is just to be active and participate in the event. That's all.